It was the most devastating of attacks, the cold-blooded slaughter of 51 people. Worshippers gunned down at two mosques in New Zealand as they prayed. We just started prayer when they had... I was pushing the people, go down, go down, somebody is killing the was you know, he's killing our brothers. I was saying, go down, go down. So he's an animal, animal, nothing but animal. Yeah, okay. Imam Zikrullah and Abdul Aziz were both at Linwood Islamic Center in Christchurch when the terrorist arrived and started shooting. There was screaming, yelling, I think, come I'm here because I didn't want him to come inside the mosque because we had a lot of people, between 80 to 200 people was praying that day. And uh, I want him to focus on me, but uh, unfortunately, he came inside and shot a lot of brothers and sisters. Men, women and children were murdered indiscriminately. Then I chased him to his car when he sat on his car because we had a bit of distance. And I just threw that shotgun on his side window and I smashed his side window. He just looked at me and he just gave me a finger and said, I killed all of you. Before arriving at Linwood, the gunman had already killed more than 40 people at the city's Al Noor Mosque. Guilty or not guilty? Yes, guilty. Brenton Tarrant has admitted 51 charges of murder, 40 of attempted murder, and committing a terrorist act. And he'll be sentenced this week. People came to us here and they gave us assurance and they gave us support. And I hope that his term in prison is going to be so long th through his life so that he can taste the same thing as those people, the children, the widows who tasted also the, the pain. Come on! A crime of hate provoked an outpouring of love and unity. But what was stolen cannot be replaced. I don't think not a single day I will not feel the, you know, the, the depth of the agony, you know, we went through that day, not a single day. The terrorist behind New Zealand's worst mass shooting is expected to spend the rest of his life in jail. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.